Luis, where are you? Sorry, I, uh, I screwed up. Come to my rescue, Prince Charming. I'll show you Charming, pal. Come on. I'm in the ballroom past the courtyard. Don't be late to the dance. Can't believe that guy. He's in trouble. We can't just leave him, right? I mean... <laughs> How's it going everybody? Lucian Sword here. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Resident Evil 4 Remake. This is Chapter 9. And we are reunited with Ashley. As you can see, we are rocking the default costumes for this episode. Although I did give Ashley the uh, glasses again. I just think they go well with her. Um, yeah, so we can save right there if you really want to even though this is the start of the episode but I'm not gonna do that handgun ammo beautiful one thing I will do though actually I don't have to do it right here but I was thinking about our limited ammo situation and um, I was thinking about how we never had this issue back when I was uh, using the bolt thrower a little more often so, let's go ahead and bring the bolt thrower back into the fold of things. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't have a lot of inventory space, but that's alright. Let's grab the yellow herb over here, and I think that's about it for stuff in this room. So, let's go ahead and continue on outside where we're going to be for a little bit because we're going to be exploring the hedge maze. And even though it's not a very big maze, it's still, <laughs> I mean, it's just one of my favorite places in the game. Um, it, it's a bit different in the remake, of course, like everything. Actually, we went out the wrong way. But it's still a hedge maze. Now, you guys can already hear a clockwork castle in. It's actually upstairs, I think. We're not even going to get it in this episode again. We keep hearing ones that are in the future. Um, speaking of bolt thrower... I don't even think I really have any bolts. Let's mix that herb real quick. Um, I don't think I can craft them either. So, so much for the bolt thrower being super useful, right? Uh, we'll, we'll still use it a little bit. Oh, actually, I need to set it to a hotkey. Uh, let's do that. So, interesting that we can send a, a weapon to storage from anywhere in the game. But we cannot pull a weapon from storage from anywhere in the game. You have to actually go to like a save spot. Just interesting. Um, yeah, don't worry though. Uh, though there's going to be another merchant in, later on in this episode. Pretty much right after we beat the hedge maze area. So let's just shoot a couple crows. Uh, or not, just one. They only drop like gunpowder typically anyway, so not a big deal. So this is the hedge maze. There's a couple different ways you can go, of course. Um, but before th before we do anything, there I will say there's really no wrong way you can go about this. You know, you can go right, you go left. It doesn't really matter. You're going to have to explore it all eventually. But first things first, let's just go up here and flip the switch. That'll lower the flag. That's what I said, Ashley. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we need to lower all three of those flags. Not a big deal. Uh, let's just start wandering around. And I will mention also that you can pretty much see the whole maze layout if you just open your map. So if you get lost or you're confused, just go ahead and open the map. Uh, I will also say that there are some enemies in here, mostly the demon dogs. So just be aware of all the demon dogs and you should be fine I think I already hear one also a snake I really want to focus on using my bolt thrower to conserve ammo there he is like that no ammo wasted, see? The thing with the bolt thrower th though is it's a bit hard to use sometimes. Let's 
go around. Pretty sure there's more dogs that way, but before we do, let's go this way. Always be careful going around the corners because I'm pretty sure there's some ambushes in here. This is going to be uh, a somewhat longer episode, guys. It's probably going to be an hour long. It's a pretty big episode. Now, look, guys, look. I actually saved one of the Clockwork Castle Inns. I didn't destroy it in my first playthrough so that you guys could actually see it. I was thinking this one was pretty easy and I wouldn't forget it. Normally I shoot them because sometimes they're in hard to notice places and I don't want to forget and then save, you know what I mean? And then I have to like rebeat the chapter again to find it. That's why I usually shoot them. But that one I was like, I'm not gonna miss that. I wanna show the viewers. I think it's been a long time since I showed them uh, one of those guys. Probably since like episode one or two. I can craft a lot of bolts, but it's gonna eat up my knife to do so. Like my good knife, I don't wanna do that yet. We will just survive just fine with the four bolts for now, I guess. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Was there some more treasure over there? Over here and to the left. Oh, we already got that treasure. We do have to go up into that tower, though. That'll probably be the last one we do, so don't worry about it. Get ready for some doggies. If there's more than one, you might want to switch the shotgun. I know they're around here somewhere. Dude, these dogs are everywhere. Maybe if we're really quiet. Keep your dogs on a leash, people. Oh boy. Okay, well. There goes the bolt thrower, ammo. Give me a break already. Where'd the other dog go? It just ran by us. Bro, I don't wanna leave it. Where did it go? That's crazy. Oh, they just, oh my gosh, I actually got the shot off. That was a pro shot, if I say so myself. I'm literally surprised I even got that off. Because the bolt thrower takes forever to like pull up and shoot. All right, let's keep it going. We are definitely gonna try to get all the loot in this area. What are you looking at? One shot with the rifle will take those doggies out. Oh, he's too far away to grab the ammo. All right, at the water fountain with no water in it, we're gonna swing a left. And there should be a treasure right in here, baby. Let's go. An elegant chessboard. Let me know in the comments if you like playing some chess, I do. All right, let's reload the shotgun. The reason I went for the uh, regular costumes, default outfits, I guess. Oh, uh, well, I, actually, I'll, I'll, I don't want to spoil it before it happens, so never mind. I'll, I'll come back to that thought in a minute. All right, we're at our second tower, but I'm nervous there's like a dog around every corner. I think we're all right. Let's get the tower here. I can hear the dogs walking around, but I think they're on they're on their other side somewhere over there. Where's the switch? There we go. Alright, the final switch is probably the hardest. If you're doing it in the same order as I am anyway. Alright, I hear the dogs, so I don't see them. Of course, they're gonna come out as soon as I open this gate.
What? He... They can jump over the walls? Well, that explains a lot about why they disappear so fast. Oh god, oh god. Oh no. No, no, no. Knife him. Knife him. Hold still. Shot him in the butt. I went from like doing a perfect shot point blank to missing three shots as he was running up to us. That was terrible. Sometimes I impress myself and sometimes I impress myself with how bad I can be. <laughs> um, Alright, let's get this. Bunch of money right there. Pretty sure we're coming up to a spot where there's gonna... Oh, hi. There's gonna be like two or three dogs in a in a locked area and they're all gonna jump out at once and I wanna blow them to smithereens. Always look through these little window areas. Alright, here we go, here we go. Present for you. Well, only one shot, not too bad. They should have all died from that. Oh, we got a flash grenade. That's all right. And this gate we can't open yet. Bolt thrower is working out for us. Saving quite a bit of ammo this way. I think we got another dog coming. All right. Oh yeah. So this one, um, if I if I hold this down, it'll open the gate. But as soon as I let it go, it goes up. So we have to order Ashley got it. to hold the gate while we go do this. And you know <laughs> that this is gonna be bad because as soon as we leave Ashley. Bad things happen. Be careful. No, you be careful. We're gonna have to fight off a ton of guys that are trying to abduct Ashley in a second. Why? Oh, I don't know, because Ashley panics and lets go of the gate, so we can't just easily go back to her. We have to like run all the way around the map. Now we can finally get out of this maze. Or can we? Ashley, run! Hi. Oh my goodness, I am so bad at this game. Really, it's just the bolt thrower. All right, let's go rescue Ashley though. Ah, let go over. You can use a flashbang also if you. Want to make quick work of them. What are you guys doing? Oh, from the back? Really? I was hoping I'd get damaged, to be honest, because I have way too many healing items. Did you really try to hit me when I wasn't even looking and you still couldn't? Oh, I'm sure you're good. I can't say the same. All right, well, no biggie, Ashley. It's okay. Don't worry. You know I always got your back. The problem is um, I wasted a couple bolts, and now I want to go get them. So um, <laughs> I'm not going to make her do it again. It's fine. Let's just go back the long way. Not a big deal. We're pretty much done with the maze. And honestly, this is just the beginning of the episode. There's a lot to this episode. Um, do I, did I just hear another? There's another dog somewhere. I don't know where my bolts went. Uh, 
Okay. Here you go. A little bit more loot over here. We'll take that. I hear you. Okay. Now all we have to, ooh, handgun ammo. Let's go get that. Don't want to leave anything behind like that. Handgun ammo is a rare commodity. Wait, where is it? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's on the other side of this. Well, we're going to go get that, guys. Hope you don't mind a little bit of a detour. Where is it? Right here? How did I miss that? Well worth it. All right. Now uh, now we can leave. So let's just head on out of here. Make sure uh, my bolt over there. Do I really care about the bolt a whole lot? Yeah, let's just since it's right there, let's just go get it. If it was farther, I wouldn't, but two bolts. Okay. Definitely worth it then. Yeah, I think we got all the uh, loot there is over here, so. Welcome to the Grand Hall. Ballroom must be this way. Ashley, why are you out of breath constantly? All right, so obviously the merchant is uh, through that door, but before we mess with him, let's just loot this area real quick. Look, there's a statue up there. Yeah, we'll get that in a minute, Ashley. Don't you worry about it. Drop the lantern. All right, actually, there's also do 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 more of these. Quite a bit more, actually. There's another one that's like in the chandelier somewhere. I don't remember exactly where. I remember it's hard to see. Maybe it's in. Well, we'll get it in a minute. Let's go talk to the merchant. I've got some new items in stock. <laughs> Come take. Next level upgrades. Oh yeah, so now we can upgrade our weapons even more, which is nice. Here's the blue medallions thing. We already got one of them, but now we can see them on the map and that's always nice. Let's go ahead and save our progress uh, right here, I guess. Okay. Talk to the merchant Welcome. here. Got some rare things on Check sale, it out. Stranger. This is one of the reasons I wasn't too worried about the bolt thrower being back in our inventory. We can upgrade the case to be even bigger, which is a must buy. That there's pretty big. Enough to get the job done. Sure. All right, let's sell the chessboard, the beetle, the necklace. I'll buy almost anything. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. The magnum ammo. Well, well. All right. I can certainly do something. Repair our knife. Good as new. Upgrade the pistol since that's Try our primary that weapon. Side. The shotgun already is super powerful. Don't really need to upload it, upgrade it. The bolt thrower, man. A well-tuned weapon can make up for a That's lack of not a big damage increase. But we might as well upgrade something. And since I do use a bolt thrower a lot. This kind of work is about finesse, stranger. Little bit goes a long way. You'll see. Let's just Wait, save our money. What can I do you for? Let's get the Chalice of Atonement, What's I guess. That? How have we here come? And we might be able to socket it. Ooh. We can do one of each color. Very nice. And we can just go ahead and sell that. Welcome. Alright, now that we got a little bit more money. I'll buy it at a high price. The knife is nice, but knife needs care let's do durability. Dazzle, Doesn't break as often. <laughs> Our craftsmanship demands no less. 
I could fully max out both their yeah. Both their power. Kind of work, pleasant travels. Alright. Um this is the way to uh back to the audience chamber where we first met Ramon Salazar, and we will go back that way uh towards the end of the episode, but Hello, for now not so much. Um we can also go to the next shooting range which has a few extra guns now Congratulations. I've prepared a new game for you. I think you like this we can also spend our tokens that we've been finding Let's see what we get useless on my playthrough that I'm not recording, I've already done the shooting range here and I've gotten uh, S tier on every single challenge. So I'm not really going to spend a whole lot of time here. Uh, yeah, that's trash. But I just wanted to show you guys that it's here. I wonder if it'll show. Yeah, it doesn't show. See? On my other playthrough, I already have S tier on everything, so it's really not needed. Uh, let's just do the right gun one. This one's kind of fun. We get to shoot. Shotgun's probably my favorite. Well, we hit one sailor. Dang it. Oh, we didn't do too bad. Oh my gosh, Ashley's just chilling on the barrel. Cute. I didn't know she did that. I legit did all of these last time. I spent like an hour in here and I never even noticed she was chilling on the barrel there. Ashley, come on. We got work to do. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, Good job, Leon. Have fun. I mean, you could have had a go as well, you know, get some handgun training or something so you can actually be useful like imagine if I could just give Ashley a weapon I have like five on me you know she can have one give Ashley the bolt thrower then again like she's so terrible like she doesn't defend herself at all she'd probably end up shooting me so probably why Leon doesn't do that all right well anyways I just wanted to show you guys this area not gonna spend a whole lot of time in there one of the rare times you'll actually see a loading screen in this game in the middle of a match. Stench of battle on you, mate. <laughs> That's not battle, stench of battle, but uh, yeah, we need a key. This, these are kind of like the way shrines or whatever, but they're a different type. Take a look. Something's bound to catch your Can I craft any more? See all of our space now? Can I craft some bolts? I guess I can craft bolts like with my knife. And then we're just going to have to repair the knife. Which Welcome. is not a big deal. Ooh, what you buying? Unnecessary. Oh, I guess we used a different a knife. Well Alright, cool. Whatever. <laughs> so now we got plenty of bolts. And I don't have to worry about crafting more. We could craft uh, explosive bolts, but that's a, that's a whole other thing. Flash grenade is always nice. So is rifle ammo. What we really need is shotgun ammo more than anything else. Okie dokie, so let's move on with the episode because we still have a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, this is a uh, square locks. All right. Now, up here, there's this statue that Ashley mentioned with the missing heads. Obviously, we have to find all three of them, and it looks like this when it's done. There's a symbol on the wall. 
We need the snake head, the lion head, and the goat head. In the original, it wasn't a statue like this. It was like kind of like that. It was a relief on the wall, and you had to put them in there. But they kept the same idea in the remake, so... Um, actually, I think there's a blue medallion behind the statue. And then there's a, another blue medallion in this room, but before we do that, we have a pest control. Grand Hall to the library. Um, before we go anywhere else, though, let's get the other medallion. Right there. Now, there's a few different uh, ways you can go about this. Uh, like I said, we need the lion, the goat, and the snake head. Ladder we can kick down in a minute. It doesn't really matter which order you want to get them in. Um, okay, so this is the snake head section. Let's just do this one first, I guess. This is like a dining room. Oh, we got our first rat as well. Need to kill two more of those. So here it is. Statue of some snakes. Now to get the snake head, you got to do a little puzzle solving. I'm just looking for loot. So here's the dining table. Huh. The dining hall. You can see I can order he, Ashley here? to sit. No thanks. Any chair, I can order her to sit. Or I can sit myself. Grab the red herb. And there should be a medallion. There it is. All right, so the clue for this area is on the wall, and I'll show you in a second. Just want to craft that. So if we look at the picture of the king and so, queen here, uh, you do a lot of missions like this. Well, yeah, but I'm not used to having such good company. Is that a compliment? <laughs> Take it however you want. Stop trying to flirt with me, Ashley. I'm focused. So, on the queen, we have two knives, a spoon and a fork, and then pretty much empty water, glass, empty plate, and the napkin. And then on the king, he's got three knives, a big bottle of scotch or something. He's got bread on his plate, and he's got two forks and a spoon. So, three, three, and he's fully loaded. She's got two, two, and nothing. So if you look on the table for those, uh, you can see right here is where the king sits, I think. But we need to find where Ashley is going to sit. Actually, the king could sit right here as well, I think. Oh, no, miss missing the bottle of uh, scotch. So the queen will sit right here. Ashley. Okay. Pretty sure that's right. And then I will sit right here. Looks about right. Ashley, your hand didn't even yeah. hit the right spot. Looks like we figured it out. We? You mean I figured it out. Grab the serpent head. Okay, that's one down. Always check the map, make sure we got all the loot. On to the next. This is a really cool room, by the way. It's probably one of the more beautiful areas in the castle. Again, this room is not in the original that I remember it looking like this. Like, the castle is in the original, but, like, everything about it is kind of unique in the remake. And obviously, it looks a lot better graphics here. Ashley, you are so annoying with the <laughs> all the time. I wish that they would fix that. Make it a little bit less. Ah, oh, yes. Precious shotgun shells. And let's go on to the next area. Just seen that. This area is actually the hardest one, I think, in my opinion. There's going to be a ton of enemies. There is a way to kind of like... 
We can't go that way. No good. To kind of like cheat this area. So basically, as soon as we start walking across this bridge, a guy's gonna appear right here and flip the lever, and it's gonna lower the bridge down into this room where there's tons of enemies. If you have a rocket launcher or um, if you have some attachable mines, you might be able to throw some mines over there and blow them up before it happens. Unfortunately, I, I don't really have either. So um, there's also going to be a red robe dude who likes to, you know, chant and give you a headache all the time. Try to kill him as soon as possible. Let's just get this over with. I think I'm going to... Man, I don't like only having one frag grenade, so I think I'm just going to save it, to be honest. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, yes, uh... We're sandwiched, all right. Hi. Don't even worry. I really want to kill that guy. Hey, up on the balcony. Oh, you don't say, Ashley. Are you pushing me? That's not nice. <laughs> Ashley, you're a good decoy. <laughs> Oh, did I mention the red guy will Leon, sprout the... There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot I have a fully upgraded uh, bolt thrower. We should probably be using that. Well, at least fully upgraded as far as power goes. Spread out. Okay. I don't mind if he picks up Ashley because it's a decoy, to be honest. Okay. You okay? Yeah. You okay? Actually, it would be Sweat. great if you could be a little more helpful. But, yeah, so, like I said, this part's a little bit challenging, but not that bad. Like, <laughs> as long as you're good at killing those guys, which, by this point in the game, you probably are. <laughs> now that everybody's dead, we can safely loot the area. And there is quite a bit of loot here, besides the lion head. There's also a hanging uh, fire lantern, which I always forget about because it's way back um, up here. But yeah, you can shoot that and maybe kill somebody up here. I don't know. I've never been able to really do it. Okay. Let's go back to the switch and where we killed these guys. Raise the platform back up. And you can see right there, there's a chest we can go get before we head back. Some people might just head straight back up the stairs and across. But me, I like to get all the loot. Let's pick up the yellow diamond. And that's not all. That's not all, that's not all, that's not all. Some bolts. Okay. Don't know why there's a bolt there, but there is. Was it one I shot? I don't think so. Maybe it was. Alright, we got all the loot. Nope. 
Missed some resources and a flashbang. Don't want to forget the flashbang. We're going to need them. All right. For this next area, trust. All right. Let's go, Ashley. Go grab the head and then get out of here. Oh, my bad. The goat head, not the lion. We're running low on rifle ammo, but that's okay. Rifle ammo is luxury. We don't... Oh, never mind. Just got eight rifle ammo. And a heavy grenade? And shotgun shells. Wow, there's a lot of stuff over here. Um, so... Attachable mines. That's actually not a bad idea. Other than the fact that we don't have a lot of inventory space. But knowing that I could craft those is good enough for me. Let's put the heavy grenade over here. We're good, man. We're good on inventory and everything. Like, I could... These ones will increase my max health as well. But I haven't really been that injured to, to need them. I just have so much uh, healing stuff. We don't really get hit that often. Oh, oh, oh. Here's a great place to use the grenade, but I'm going to save it. Okay, that's why I bought that's why I brought the bolt thrower. Saved my grenade, saved most of my ammo, only took one shotgun. Alright. You good Ashley? That would have been a good place to put an attachable mine like on the floor if if you remember. Alright, now there's only one more place to go. And unfortunately, we can't go that way yet. We already went that way. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Um, let's go talk to the shopkeeper again, real quick. Welcome. What can I interest you in? Actually, I want to repair my knife. Good luck to you, stranger. Crossing your T's, dotting your eyes. That's the way to be. Well, thank you, sir. Pleasant travels. <laughs> All right. Um, so this area is not super hard, hey, but it is challenging. Camera. Bet you could use it like a bulletproof vest. <laughs> Little old-fashioned for my taste. Mm, too bad. I think you'd look pretty dashing. Well, thanks, Ashley. How did I miss? Ooh, a silver token. They're like so trash. But this, this is not. Grab that small key. Do not miss the small key. It's important. The last medallion is over there. All right. So... Shoot that. Now, you guys guessed it. Ashley's going to stay up here. We're going to go down here. And as soon as I take the lion head, we're going to be fighting all of these dudes. But not all at once. Um, the trick is... Ashley, stay up there. Okay. The blue fire actually will stun them and make them, like, not move for a little bit. Also, there's a flash grenade um, somewhere laying around. If you look around before you take up the lion head, 
I would just get all the loot. If you don't have a flash grenade, there's one right there. And the reason that's really important is because these guys will sprout their plaga heads. And, um, like, if you... Can get, like, two or three of them to sprout their plaga heads, you can just kill them all with that flash grenade. Alright, let's go. You don't on, say. You can't be serious. Actually, we'll throw. Um, Ashley, do your thing. Try to shoot them in the neck if you can. Kind of hard to do, but. Could flashbang them. I only have three though. Let's see if I can save some ammo and save some flash. It's okay. I don't mind getting hit. Oh, now you throw it. Oh boy. Don't worry, Ashley. I want more of these armor guys Ashley, to come okay. to life. Just stay safe. So that I can flashbang them all at the same time, but. Running out of bolts, but we're saving so much ammo. Haha, uh, can't hurt me when I'm doing my kick. Come on, buddy. Don't you want to join in the fun? I'm just running around picking up all my crossbow bolts I missed. <laughs> okay. Ashley, you want to throw some more fire or nah? Oh, I blocked it. Okay, here's the final three. Miss me. Now I want to get all three of their heads out. Go to hell, you rusty piece of shit. Iron hole. What does it look like? Nice. Leon. Of course I'm okay. Leon. Oh, calm down, Ashley. I'm getting my bolts. It's right there. Let me get it. Thank you. Leon. Ashley, chill. I'm picking up all my bolts. Okay. Leon. Yes. I'm coming, my princess. Just chill. Nice catch. You sure you're all right? You're not burned, are you? No. Oh, Thanks please. for your help. I really did the trick. <laughs> now yoink that tail. Okay. Got the lion head, got the goat head, and got the snake head. We missed a bolt back there, but that's all right. You don't think they're going to move, do you? Alright, 
one more rat, and there's our cubic device. That's actually a really good item. It's a key that will open many locked areas or locked ch chests or cabinets. Okay. Unlock that door, and boom, we're back here. Now, before we go put these back in the statue, there's actually something I want to do. Took care of her a quest, did ya? <laughs> nice work. Ooh, what you buy? Nothing I really want to get, anyways. But we could uh, repair, Good I luck guess. To you, stranger. Don't get yourself killed. Let's save now that we have all of these pieces, and let's go take that. Now. <laughs> that tr wait, what was the? Oh, because we went. Yeah. I don't really eat chicken eggs too often, so I'm just gonna replace that. Let's uh, put the cube in here. And this one, you actually do gotta like rotate it a little bit. Make sure it fits. Butterfly lamp. Uh, let's just wait and see if I can get a blue. Take a look. Something's bound to catch your eye. Salad de audiencias. Let's go, Ashley. You don't get car sick or anything, do you? You're about to find out. This is uh, just an area to go back to. It's optional. Hey, it. There's a bunch of loot here, though. That's why I'm coming back. Including an elegant crown. Oh my goodness. Now, there's going to be a ton of enemies in here. You might want to use a, a grenade. Remember this room, guys? Remember this room? Well, if you don't, it was an episode or two ago. back here yes and we're gonna go back to the audience hall right here but it's not empty anymore Look at all that loot. Nice try. Ah. Now, where were we? Yeah, I'm fine. Cool. I actually have a reason to heal. And expand my maximum health. Um, no, we're not doing bad on ammo anymore, guys. That's the benefit of the bolt thrower. Like, we got tons of ammo now. Mm -hmm. Ammo is not a worry anymore. I don't really need to craft any. Alright, so the reason we wanted to come back here, other than those guys and the crown... Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but we had that small key, and now we can use it on this little cupboard that we saw. Last episode, or episode before that, gold bar in there, and then over here, we have this cubic key to get this thing. Um, I 
I, I want to. Oh, yeah, there we go. What do we get? Ooh. Justicia statue. Justicia. Okay. That's pretty much all I wanted to do in this area. So now we can go back. Just wanted to get all that loot. If you don't remember to come back here, you might miss it. Yellow herb. I must have missed that last time. Alright. Let us continue, guys. I know this is kind of a longer episode, but we are not done. There's actually a whole other section that we're going to do. And um, I was waiting to talk about it until now because... Well, I'll, I'll still wait a moment longer. You'll see why. I want it to be a surprise. Come on. Let's go back. Hey. We're here. Things are going a little bit too smoothly. You know what I mean? This game, as soon as you start to feel like, all right, we're doing pretty good. We're making our way through the castle. We're destroying everyone. We're doing all right. As soon as you think that, the game likes to mess you up. <laughs> and you guessed it. It's about to happen. Gosh dang it! I won't run. Wait for me, Leon. That's right. We get to play as Ashley. And yes, this was in the original. You could play as Ashley in this section. Although I will say that the section, uh, the way it's designed is completely different. I need to find a light. And um, this, this part is okay, but I don't know if I prefer it over the original uh, Ashley section. But it's all right. So first things first, grab the lantern. It's not just any lantern though, it's got the blue flame. And the blue flame, as you remember, it freezes those armor statue guys. And as you can see, I have no weapons. I got nothing because I'm Ashley. And I wanted to use default uh, costumes because this is the only part in the game that I know of, unless they added more in the remake, where you actually get to play as Ashley. You only get to play as Ashley in this one part. And I wanted it to be like the classic feel for the game. So I went classic outfits. Um, I also wanted to mention, hey, Zelda, Nintendo, pay attention. Because I would love to play as Princess Zelda sometime in a, a Zelda game, not just Link. You know what I mean? Even if it's for one section, kind of like this. It'd be cool. Alright, so the point of this section is <laughs> jump scares and just trying to rescue Leon. And to do that... We need to find that lever that uh, the dude flipped that raised those bars. And it's a bit of an adventure. There's some puzzles. Don't worry about the statue if there's a blue f blue fire right by it. He can't do anything. Is that a clock? It is a clock, and we can adjust the time. The hands move. It's a bit of a puzzle as to what time you need to put it at, though, right? 
The way to the hidden mausoleum, the resting forebears answers to the chosen time. If it is the Lord's blessing you seek, have courage and fear no darkness. I actually already know the clock like time that you need to put to open it, but that's kind of like cheating because I already played through this section. We can't even break the urns or anything. So we need to go the only way we can go, which is this way. This place is actually pretty cool. It's like a library. Of course, it's like super dark, but you can imagine if it was actually like light in here where you could see, it would be a pretty cool looking place. So that's an it's area locked. we need a key. There is a bunch of loot that you can see in this area and that's because we will come back through this area with Leon at a later time to get all this stuff. Let's go ahead and put our lantern here just for a moment so we can go in here and crank that door open. Or the stairways, or whatever. A hidden staircase? It must lead to a secret room or something. Kind of. What's a library without some secrets? This is a really fancy library too. I love it. How come libraries inside castles are always just incredible? Um, again, we need Leon to open that. But we can go over here and grab the keys. This is our ticket out of here. Keys. Unfortunately, that also triggers the armor to come back to life. Now, with the keys, there's going to be some treasure chests and also the the door. So, let's go get the treasure chest and then the door. All you got to do is shine the light on the armor and he will freeze. Run right by him. In here. I don't think he can come in here. Uh, notice the pattern around the keyhole looks like waves. So we're going to use the key that has fish on it. If you use the wrong key, don't worry, it'll just say wrong key. Hey, look, Ashley finally got an elegant perfume bottle. Apparently, those things are everywhere around here. We'll just leave him be. Which one is it? That one. Bye bye. Who needs guns when you have a magical lantern, right, Ashley? What now? I love this game that they allowed you to play as Ashley, though, even in the original. Clearly ahead of its time, looking at you, Zelda. And also, um, it's just fun. You know, you actually get to do something fun with Ashley. You know, something cool. She's not just useless and pathetic. Dad? Ashley, are you okay? Hang on, I'll figure something out. I mean, still kind of useless and pathetic, but not so badly so. We can save here as Ashley, which is pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and grab this. The insignia, the key to getting out of this confounded place is the Salazar family insignia. To find it, I must venture to where that cursed armor awaits, the underground mausoleum. Oh, merciful Lord, enact your righteous justice upon the wicked usurper, the maniacal monster, Ramon Salazar, and may your blessed blue light protect your forever faithful... Usurper, so that means he wasn't the original lord of the of the castle. 
that's usually a usurper or somebody who took over by force. So we need the, the insignia to open the store, blah, blah, blah. So let's keep going. There's going to be... Oh, this is the note. 11.04. Clock. Maybe. Maybe what, Ashley? Finished the thought. But first, let's fly away, shall we? Use the key with the bird. Ooh, a sapphire. Oh, we actually need the sapphire to give to Leon. Because we can put it in that other treasure we found earlier. Alright, let's wind this baby back. And about right here. Yes, yes you did, and we will get to that, but first, this is the hardest part uh, for Ashley, the area down here. Okay, so this is, like I said, a bit challenging, um, but basically we need to run all the way through to the other side, preferably without dying. Where am I going? We actually need to go back to the other clock, which was over here, I think. So I went the wrong way. Awesome. We're going to have to run by these guys. Cool. Just stick together like that. It makes it easier for me. Unfortunately, I can't hit that lamp. We're going to have to get it later as Leon. Actually, I don't remember if I have to go up the elevator. I think so. Let's go up the elevator or down or whatever. Hi. No. Where is the way out of here? My goodness. This way? Here it is. Don't look back. Don't look back. I'm going to look back. They're fine. <laughs> They're not even close. Okay. Here's the clock. Same thing. 11.04. Okay. This part is a bit difficult as well. There's going to be even more armor dudes. A lot more. Come on. Come on. Too slow again. Yeah, you thought the armor was so cute before, Ashley. How about now? Didn't just I a just room say I was done? full of armor, dudes. This couldn't be bad at all, right? So a door with eagle, stag, snake, and fish, I think. We don't have a gun to shoot these, but we can ring the bell. And you guessed it. It brings the armor to life every time we do that. your best to avoid getting killed. Get 
and ring all the bells. And make a run for it. If you get to the blue light, you're safe. They can't come over here. <laughs> Pathetic. Golden armor dude with red eye. A little bit ominous. And, um... The heck? Another little puzzle here, so... Let us uh, swap lamps with this moon. Swap lamps with the star. And now the problem is, guys, we have to set our lamp here. So that means we're not going to have a lamp on our way back. Not at all. But we do have the family insignia now. Just run for it. Run, 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 run. This is one area you do not want to be slow in. Okay. Be good nights and stay still. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. And yes, you will die in one shot from these guys. Oh my... <laughs> that was so close. We're still not out of this. This guy is hard. Um, let's try to get him like over here and then we're gonna have to run around him as best we can. Come on, buddy. Run around, run around, run around. Oh my gosh. If you get hit by that, it is instant death. We're still not out of the clear. We gotta run. Run by. This is actually not the way to go. I need to go back. Bad way, bad way, bad way. Oh my goodness, I almost died there. Yeah, this is the way. Woo. Talk about cutting it close. Hi guys, don't mind me. Almost there. Ah, here it is. I feel like we might have missed a treasure, but I don't think so. Maybe not. Leon! Ashley, are you all right? Yeah. Give me a sec, I'll get you out. Can you make it down? I can catch you. Yeah, I think so. You're really not very uh, good at babysitting, are you? 
Ugh, like I said, guys, that was a long episode, but it was worth it. Zero deaths. Feels good. Uh, man, we, we pretty much did a flawless run with Ashley. Didn't even get touched once. On my first time doing that, I did get hit a couple times. <laughs> Whew. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, please drop a like. Be sure to subscribe for more. And as always, I hope to see you in the next episode where we will start Chapter 10. Take it easy, friends.